The video from Kandahar is unverified, but consistent with reports from other places that have fallen to the Taliban, that insurgents are hunting people they see as collaborators and killing them. An aircraft arrived in Canada today carrying an unknown number of Afghan evacuees, but evacuations are becoming increasingly unsafe. It seems like we're at the, uh, the end game now. Uh, embassies are closing, passport offices are closed, and now it's, it's turning into a complete and utter downfall of the, uh, of the Afghan regime. Morrow's former interpreter is Abdul. He's now safe in hotel quarantine in London. His parents and four siblings are displaced people on the run in Kabul. We've concealed his identity. I don't care about myself right now. I'm okay. So I can't sleep. I'm really thinking in the whole night. I can't sleep it. One brother, who also worked for the Canadian Army, is safe in Whitby, Ontario, but has similar nights. I sleep at 2, 3 o'clock. You know, I, I wake up in the morning and I see news. I keep track of news and everything is like, there's no, no good news. Morrow says it will soon be every man for himself. And now is the time to start landing and loading more planes. I'd be there in a minute if I could. This is something that touches, I think, a lot of us as veterans uh, because we fought so hard in that part of the world for so long to be able to close out the mission with some human beings, some Afghans showing up to Canada, starting a new life. Today, the government announced a new program to bring 20,000 Afghan refugees to Canada. Advocates for the interpreters say the government needs to focus on the job it's already behind on. A statement from the group Not Left Behind said Canada had the opportunity to safely rescue interpreters and other locally employed staff that supported Canada. Today's response comes in the 11th hour. We're worried it's too little, too late. Veterans say Canada would help more by authorizing rescue missions and waiving some of its paperwork because everyone in Kabul is now living on borrowed time. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Chelsea, Quebec.